Hey guys, what's up? It's Cruz Austin here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use advanced arrow left and right. This video is for beginners who are trying to learn how to do arrows. So, my f like a lot of my friends don't know how to arrow and uh, they've been asking me how to do this. So I wanted to put this video out there for all the people who want to learn arrow and use it to their advantage. So, let's get right into it. First of all, you want to go into your settings, go to controls, view or change bindings and then you should see arrow right left. On controller, most people have arrow right on R1, arrow left on L1 and if you're on keyboard and mouse, uh, you put arrow right on E or F, then arrow left on Q. That's the most common uh, key bindings for arrow left and right. So after that, you should be good and you can start advanced arrowing, yay! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, I'm gonna teach you some basic stuff that you need to know, okay? Okay, first of all, right now, I am seeing the top side of my car, right? Right now, I'm seeing the bottom side of my car, right? Okay, now, when I'm seeing the top side of my car, if I hold D on the keyboard or if I hold the analog stick to the right my car is gonna go to the right yeah and if I do it on the left if I hold A on the keyboard or hold the left on the analog stick I'm gonna go left right okay now if I look at the underside of my car if I hold D or right on my controller I'm gonna go to the left Okay, so it's the complete opposite, alright? And if I hold A or hold left on the controller, I'm gonna go to the right. So, when you're facing the underside of your car, if you hold left, you're gonna go right. If you hold right, you're gonna go left. And you need to remember that and you need to get your muscle memory into it, okay? You're, this is really important if you wanna learn air roll, alright? And it's the same thing with ceilings, alright? when you come off a ceiling if you hold up or w your car is like completely opposite of what it's gonna do um how do i explain this so when you're on the ground if you hold w or up on the controller analog stick um it's gonna do this right basically it's gonna face the tip of your car to the ground but when your car when the underside of your car is on the top like this right if you hold W or up your the tip of the car is gonna face up and not down to the ground look at this tip of the car nose of the car look at it it's facing up right so basically w whenever you're facing the underside of your car it's the complete opposite of what you do you need to remember that okay all right now we're gonna go get into training so first what I want you to do is I want you to fly from one goalpost to the other. Just no arrow, nothing, just fly. Right? I want you to do this five times. And after the fifth time, when you're comfortable with it, I want you to have a slight like directional change from the straight. Like I want you to be here. I want I want you to go here. Then I want you to turn your car to the left. I want you to change the direction of where you're going, right? I want you to do that five to ten times on both sides. Yes. Okay. And once you're comfortable with this, we can move on to the next step. I want you to do the same thing, but a little bit more directional change. Right? So, like this. I want you to control it. And I want you to go from goalpost to goalpost 5 to 10 times, okay? It is okay if you fail, you got just keep trying 5 to 10 times, both sides, okay? Alright. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to go straight again. But I want you to do arrow one round, like a 360, then arrow 360, arrow 360, alright? I want you to do 5 to 10 times without changing any direction, okay? And after that, I want you to change a little bit of direction. I want you to go here, arrow, change direction, 
arrow change direction arrow so I want you to do that I want you to change the direction between the arrows okay I don't want you to keep arrowing like this I don't want you to do this this is not what I mean I want you to arrow then go arrow go change direction arrow go change direction arrow I want you to do that okay small steps first baby steps okay and now what I want you to do is I want you to go a little bit more far so arrow change direction arrow change direction arrow change direction arrow okay I want you to do five to ten times this is the fundamentals that you need to learn okay first this is the fundamentals that you need to learn before having a continuous rhythm of arrowing all right moving on to the next step okay the next step is where things get a little bit more trickier what I want you to do is I want you to go on a straight line arrow then I don't want you to keep arrowing I want to go arrow arrow I want it to be a little bit more frequent okay I want you to do five to ten times then have a little bit of directional change then okay arrow change arrow change arrow change arrow I want you to arrow then change direction like very frequently not like last time I don't want you to do this uh, wait okay I don't want you to do this and I don't want you to do arrow then wait for two seconds then arrow I don't want you to do that I want you to arrow change direction and then arrow as quick as possible so arrow change direction 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 arrow okay that's what I want you to do this is the fundamentals you really need this so I really need you to do this five to ten times because this is where it gets hard so we jump from here now I want you to jump from here arrow change direction arrow change direction arrow change direction arrow direction arrow direction arrow okay so you might be thinking how I'm changing the direction so whenever my car is facing this I want to go to that goal post right there right so what I do is I tilt my car to the left by holding a or left on the analog stick so my car goes like this and then I arrow then my car is facing that way now I need to go right so I go right then I go right again and now I'm in the center of the goal post right so you need to change the direction according to where your car is facing so if your car is facing that way you need to change the direction to the left right and then you can air roll to make yourself straight if you want right so that's how you do it so you do air roll then you go left air roll now that's too much left right so you go right air roll air roll air roll right so you change the direction then air roll then change the direction then again air roll so that's a lot of air rolls anyway so that's what you want to do and um, one more thing if your car is starting to give away and it's starting to face the ground you pull back on the stick or you hold a little bit of s on the keyboard so it goes like this right then you hold s then it b then your car the tip of the car like the nose of the car faces up so if it starts to face if the nose of the car starts to face the ground just hold s or down on the controller stick and your nose will face up and your car will gain altitude all right simple as that all right um now one more thing if you're doing arrow then going arrow going and you want to go there as fast as possible you can hold w or controller then you'll go like this right you'll face down which will increase your speed like okay look at this arrow 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 now i'm facing down look at this this is much faster right but I don't want you to do that just yet, okay? Alright, now you have completed the arrow, change direction arrow. Now this is the most difficult part. I want you to arrow. Then when your car is at this stage, when arrowing, I want you to hold right. Not hold, just tap right. Holding 
like when you're air rolling, holding a direction. Like right now, I'm holding down on my analog stick or uh, S on the keyboard. This is not good. Right now, I'm holding left on the analog stick and uh, A on the keyboard. And this is not good. You don't want to hold air roll. Alright, holding air roll is not good. Not not good for now, <laughs> okay? So when you're practicing, you wanna tap air roll. So, I mean, not tap air roll, uh, tap the directional buttons. So, I want you to hold air roll. Then I want you to tap the directional buttons. So, right now I need to go to the left. I can go to the left like that, right? But you might be asking, oh Chris, how are you changing your direction? When you're air rolling, you can see that your car comes in this position and this position right when you're air rolling right so when you're air rolling if your car comes to this position if you want to go to that goal post right there when your car comes in this position you turn left and the car will go there you turn right it will go there right <coughs> but the thing is a lot of people don't know this when your car is facing underside as I said, it's the opposite. I had a struggle with this too. I'm air rolling and I do right, but it goes to the left. I'm holding right right now, but it went to the left, as you can see, right? So I'm holding right, but it's going to the left. So this is what I had, like, this misconception, right? So I don't want you to <laughs> be frustrated. I just want you to air roll and, you know, move the car when the car is in this position or this position if it's in this position i want you to go left by holding right or i want you to go right by holding left so what i need you to understand is how you change the direction when you're air rolling when you're air rolling if you hold left you don't just go left you don't go left you need to hold left at a certain point in the air roll uh, 360 degree movement so basically when you're air rolling i want you to hold left here when your car is like this i want you to hold left then it will go left and if you want to go right when your car is in this position you hold right it will go right okay and one more thing when you want to go right maybe you're like this and we want to go right you hold up button and then it will go in that direction as well and up button means uh, holding W or holding up on the analog stick as I told you it makes you go faster so when you're doing this you want to turn right you turn right and you hold up you're gonna go like this right and it's always and it's not good to always hold the analog stick or WASD it is good to always arrow but it's not good to always, you know, hold the analog stick like this. It's not good. I'm telling you, it's not going to be good. The only way to learn this is to mix it up. So right now, I'm not holding anything. I want to go to the other goal post. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go right. I'm going to go more right. And boom. I got there. You'll get your muscle memory into it. But what I need you to do is not hold the directional changes, but only tap it once in a while. And I want you to control your boost. Never, like, hold your boost while you're learning how to air roll. Like, it's really hard. I found it really hard while holding boost. So don't hold, hold the boost. Always tap it. Always tap the boost. Tapping the boost will help you. Look at this, right? And if I want to go to the other goalpost and hit the crossbar, it's really easy. So I go here, and then I hold right, then up, because I want to go there, then up, then boom. It's kind of hard to explain, because my muscle memory is already into it. But once you get the hang of it, like, you'll literally say thank you, because it's really easy. Uh, I want you to practice this, like, at least... 10 minutes a day, right? So, as I said, arrow, then directional change, arrow, direction change, direction change, arrow, direction change. You'll get the hang of it. Just remember two things. Don't hold direction like this. Don't hold it. 
don't hold it okay don't hold it and one more thing you should control your boost and not hold it don't hold the boost you should control it you should tap it and once you get the hang of it i want you to do this one i mean two things okay this is this was really hard for me but now it's just simple like really simple so you see the circle here right the circle I want you to arrow around it. This is going to be really hard when you're starting out. But I want you to arrow around it any direction you want. Right? This is very easy for me now. I can do like... I used to do one or two circles when I was learning. And I was... I was not discouraged. I was seeing some progress. I did three circles. I remember doing five. I remember doing 13. I remember doing 15. I remember doing more than 20. But I didn't count. Like, it was just way more than I can count. Like, now I can do it consistently, you know. And if you go to the side like this, don't worry. Just, you know, just control it. Just get back to the circle, okay? It will still count. Don't touch the ground. Um, don't touch the roof. Don't touch the walls. It still counts. Don't worry. So I want you to do this. This is really helpful. Not gonna lie. This... Now, right now, you can see that I'm feathering my boost and not holding it like this, right? always feather and right now I oh I almost touched the ground I am mostly <coughs> like tapping on my left directional stick and my down because my car sometimes the nose of my car faces downwards like this so when it faces downwards I hold down on my analog stick or S on my on the keyboard right so then I face up and then I can take control of the car again. This is going to be really hard, but I need you guys to practice this to get a control of the arrow. One more thing I want you to do is when you win a match, you're in the preview or something like that, right? There I want you to just, you know, arrow do something that incorporates arrow. And whenever you f like, you know, score a goal or something, I want you to do something like this like you fly away then you know try different arrows when you score a goal right okay that's not scored um, so I want you to try different arrows for example you go up then you go to the ceiling then boom you know try different stuff when you score the goals and when you win a match when you're in the victory you know show off ceremony or something you should incorporate arrow into that this is the last routine this is even a little bit hard for me i mean i can't go that fast but you have to go around the map like this arrowing all the way like this is even hard for me not hard but you know i still get a lot of mistakes sometimes i'm still learning dude i'm i mean not learning but i'm still trying to master it but, uh, yeah, I want you to arrow around this. But this is only when you actually get a control of arrow, okay? Th do not do this. You will discourage yourself because you will not be able to complete this fully by fully arrowing. Look at this. I haven't even let go of the arrow the whole round. The thing is, this is really discouraging if you don't do this. So don't do this unless you feel like you know you're doing pretty great and you're one month into practice and this is the first time I'm doing over two circles man damn okay new record I'm just gonna keep going oh 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 I almost touched the wall <laughs> that was so close damn don't touch the walls oh shoot okay I lost control well GG's that's what happens and if you want an arrow custom map, um, you can go and take this one. You can download the code 3085-8945-4FE46C uh, and go to the fifth shot, okay? Fifth shot. And in the fifth shot, um, you can actually learn arrow and I'll show you.
Zanny boss, what's our door, brand new bag College girls, can a nigga head in my raps Rockstar life, so much money, I'll make you laugh, hey The bitch they hate, and you can't miss what you never had Hey, hey, off the juice, clothing got me trippin' Cut the coupe, walk the roof is missing. Ice, lemonade, my neck was trippin' Addy boys got some 60s in my bag. Lip sealed, I ain't pillow talking on no rag. In my earlobe, got two carrots, VVS. Got a pen, I'll sneer a day, oh, I'll for stress. All this money, when I grew up, I had nothing. Filled with backstabbers, my old life is disgusting. Can't believe it, gotta thank God that I'm living comfortably. Getting checks, I don't believe, but she says she done with me. Burn some bridges and I let the fire light the way Kicking my feet up, left the PJs on a PJ Yeah, I'm a big dog and I walk around with no leash I got water on me, yeah, everything on Fiji Zanny boss, what's our door, brand new bag College girls, can't really get head in my raps Rockstar life, so much money, I'll make you laugh, hey The bitch they hate and you can't miss what you never had, hey Cut the coupe, walk the roof is missing Ice, lemonade, my neck was tripping Ice, lemonade, my neck was tripping I'm on the stall, pack up toys, sip it, wall, hey Add up ball, finish nuts, and it's balls, hey I was 15, I said codeine with my dog, hey Did it perk us, it put methazine, I feel nuts, hey Thank you guys for watching, make sure to like, subscribe, share to anyone who's trying to learn arrows and uh, comment down below if this video was helpful and I'll see you guys later I'll see you guys in my you know champ lobbies arrowing and flipping freestyling on me dude <laughs> okay GG's bye guys